In this video, we're going to look at creating PDF documents from Airtable data. Uh, this was an issue that was brought to me by one of my startups. Uh, they have lots of data within Airtable uh, and often need to send this to their clients in a PDF document. Uh, what was different about this particular instance was they wanted to send the data in the gallery view because the pictures were really important in terms of uh, getting the data across. Now, I'm not going to say that this is hard to do, but it's not necessarily intuitive in terms of the best way to do this. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris Ray and I'm a technology consultant. I help small businesses get the best out of technology and automation using tools like Airtable. If this video is useful, then please go ahead and click the buttons below. So here we are in Airtable and you can see here we have our Airtable data. Uh, for this particular exercise, I'm kind of using the real estate template because it has the main image and then it has the gallery images and then a little bit of information about each one. Now, if we were to kind of build PDFs from this, uh, generally the place that most people go is they go to the apps side of things. And then, you know, you would add a, an app here and there are lots in terms of uh, building PDFs and so on and so forth and some of these are kind of complicated you know we've got page designers and uh, the low-tech PDF and so on and so forth and we could go into this um, but actually I found one of the simpler solutions uh, was just to use the functionality within Airtable itself but it's 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 not necessarily easy to find and here next to the uh, view is this tiny little gray arrow and when you click on it, you, you kind of get the usual information in terms of editing and renaming. Um, but down here, there is this thing called the print view. And this is what I ended up using in terms of building the PDF document. So essentially, the idea is that you, you would use this in order to print to a printer. Um, but it actually, you could just output it to a PDF instead. So here we are, uh, once the PDF has generated the, the preview, uh, we can see here that we've got four items on the page. Uh, we've got some borders in here as well. And so what you can do is you can decide, you know, I'm gonna print all of the pages and whatever as usual. Um, normally it's set as the printer, but you just need to click this box and save it as the PDF. And in here, there are some more settings. So you can change the number of items on each page. Um, you can do so many pages per sheet if you want to kind of squash things in. So here we can see we've got eight on a page. Um, personally, I ended up preferring the, the one page per sheet uh, and it ends up putting it in landscape mode. Um, the margins aren't always set. Uh, so if you've got no margin, you kind of get this, but you notice on the right-hand side and the bottom, they're a bit odd. So you do end up fiddling around with the margins. Uh, I ended up moving this to custom. Uh, and so you could reset the size of the margins here just by dragging the margin over. And then it'll reload a preview. So you can play around with this. Uh, you can also scale it. Uh, so as it builds the preview, so you can say, oh, actually, maybe uh, I'm going to put this at 80%. Uh, and you can see that your margins will change as a consequence of that. So you can also play around with this scaling. I found that 110% uh, kind of worked for me. Uh, and you can also have the option for these headers and footers. I wasn't entirely sure uh, what we should use them for because it, it kind of just puts the date, uh, the uh, title of your Airtable and, you know, this URL, which I didn't find particularly useful. Um, so there we go. Is uh, You essentially just save that and it will save as a PDF document. 
say this for now. Uh, and so that was a quick way to output your Airtable data into a nicely formatted PDF when using the gallery view. Mm -hmm.